To a stone carver, this coarse block holds within it a new form waiting to be revealed. To the naked eye, it is solid, but to science, it is a swirling, seemingly chaotic mass of tightly woven energy. Both versions of reality are true, and both require highly trained minds, skilled hands, and the proper tools and workspace to bring their subjects to light. Whether the research seeks to unravel the origins of the universe, targets the internal structure of matter, or examines the genetics of disease, each subject will only reveal its true form to the quickest of minds with the sharpest of tools. In research facilities across Canada, and now in international centers around the globe, the Canada Foundation for Innovation is providing access to the world-class research space and equipment that is the nexus of innovation. Eighty percent of the world's seabed has never been explored in detail. In one corner of the ocean universe, our ability to gather information is about to change, thanks to an innovative, international undersea network called Neptune. Under the leadership of the University of Victoria, a 3,000 kilometer network of powered fiber optic cables will soon surround and cross the smallest of the dozen major plates that make up the planet's surface, the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate. Unlike research projects conducted by surface vessels, Neptune can provide continuous data and images from deep sea observatories, each hosting an array of instruments. Real time data and video will allow scientists, students, and the general public to gain a new understanding of processes in plate tectonics, earthquakes, and tsunamis, the complex life cycles of marine life, and their response to climate change. The expanding data bank will support research, education, and the formulation of public policy. Our project Neptune is truly going to revolutionize the Earth sciences. It will bring power and the internet to large areas of the seafloor. It will allow us to gather data and to interrogate the many processes that occur in the deep ocean for a period of uh, about 30 years. The information flowing back to us will be stored in a data bank for which Canada will be primarily responsible and this in turn will allow researchers to ask new questions. It will provide a huge resource for educators and public outreach and it will help in the development of uh, important public policy, for example, like managing our fisheries. Leading the way to Neptune are the smaller Mars and Venus networks. Using powered fiber optic cables and sensors, they will test and establish the working principles of Neptune. All three networks will employ autonomous underwater vehicles, which will explore and sample the ocean floor and water column, unfettered by cables from the surface. These robots will gather and relay data on tsunamis, storms, fish migrations, and other events as they happen. Neptune's most significant contribution will be to make the last frontier on Earth, the deep sea, accessible to a global community of scientists, educators, and the general public. Together, we'll explore and hopefully answer questions like, how do marine mammals function in their own native habitat? And how do volcanoes support life without sunlight? Microbes within some of those volcanoes harbor enzymes that have potentially powerful industrial and pharmaceutical uses. It's my opinion that Neptune will launch an entire new era of exploration on our planet. Neptune promises to revolutionize ocean science a promise that would not be possible without the financial support of the CFI and the BC Knowledge Development Fund. 
With a lifetime in excess of 30 years, Neptune will provide Canadian researchers and their international partners an unprecedented and continuous window on Earth's vast and mysterious deep sea frontier. Just as artists need the studio space and the proper tools to complete their craft, so too do research scientists require the apparatus and facilities to enable their quest for new knowledge. The Canada Foundation for Innovation is very interested in ensuring that Canadians not only have the tools to do their own research, but in our programs to do with international work, we want to be sure that they have the opportunity for collaboration, and this will open many, many doors with other institutions and other parts of the world. By fully participating in large-scale collaborative research programs, Canadian researchers and their international partners continue to steadily reshape the raw materials of observation and theory into new worlds of understanding.